everybody. We're back at school, but this time we're not in my classroom. We are in the art room. Now, if you came to visit, you saw the art room and all of the new things that we have out, like bags for Play-Doh and bags for Play-Doh toys, and everyone has their own individual spot that they can do their artwork at. And we have something very special over here. Everyone has their own set of art supplies. And their art supplies are going to change as the years go uh, goes on. But right now I thought that I would show you one and I think I'll show you, let me show you my friend Rosalie's. Rosalie will be able to find hers just like you can find yours by looking for your picture. And on her picture, it looks like she has a beautiful flower and she has a beautiful bow in her hair. And it says her name right underneath. So that's a nice way to practice your name too. And all of you have such wonderful pictures. We have Cleo and Gus and William and Clyde, and Damien and Beckett and James and Caroline and Grace and all the way down that you, where you can't even see right now. There's all the children. So we all have our picture containers right here. They're like little Legos. So they click together, really nice. So when you come into the art room, you can come and you can get your container of art supplies. And let's see what's inside of Rosalie's container of art supplies. Pop it open. And oh, right at the top, there is a new glue stick. You know, I don't think there's anything better than brand new art supplies, don't you? I think they're wonderful, a brand new glue stick. So many possibilities when you have a brand new glue stick. So many things you can do. And brand new crayons, a box of crayons that she can use. So, and I know that all of you love to color. So a brand new box of crayons is really nice. And these are just for her, just like you all have your own box of crayons. And then a wonderful set of markers. So that's what's in there now, markers, crayons, and a glue stick. So depending on what the first art project is, we will all have our own supplies. And it'll change, like if one day we do a painting, then there might be a paintbrush in there that's all yours. And there might be tape sometimes if we do a taping thing. Oh, so many ideas, so many different things that we can do in the art room. So I thought, oh, I have to show you what is new in art. And that is the wonderful thing that's new in art is that we all have our own supplies. There's a lot of things that are the same and a lot of things that are different, but the different things are all very exciting. They're all very exciting. I know that I got to tell some of you that um, I am gonna be stirring up big batches of Play-Doh, brand new Play-Doh, and then everyone's gonna get their own big piece of Play-Doh so we can play with Play-Doh right away. And that Play-Doh, I don't know what color I should make it, what a good first day of school color is. I love thinking about colors. What's your favorite color? Oh, yeah, there's so many good colors. My favorite color is green, is green. I love the color green. And if someone asks me why I love the color green, I always say, it's because the grass is green and summer leaves are green and summer petals are green. And it just reminds me of the planet Earth when all the life is blooming and awake and growing. That's what green reminds me of. And that's why green is my favorite color. But today I also have a book to read and it's right up here. It's called They All they all saw a cat. They all saw a cat. And it's by Brendan Wenzel. Brendan Wenzel wrote this book. Oh, this first page kind of looks like cat hair. Let's see. And this kind of looks like a bell that a cat would wear, doesn't it? Let's see. The cat walked through the world 
with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the child saw a cat. That's a pretty, I like that cat has a big smile. That must be how the child thinks the cat looks with a big smile and big eyes looking right up at it. And the dog saw the cat. Ooh, when the dog sees the cat, the cat looks much more lithe and the bell looks really big because the dog can probably hear the bell really loud. And the fox saw a cat. Ooh, then it looks a little scared. Again, really big bell because that fox has big ears. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the fish saw a cat. You see a cat? Does it look like it's looking in the fish bowl? It's a little blurry and it's so big compared to the fish. It's so big. I think that if I had paints, this would be a fun cat to paint. Nice and big. Ooh! And the mouse saw a cat. Why do you think a mouse would see a scary looking cat? Do you think because the mouse is scared, the cat looks more scary? That's what I think. Look, it has big claws and big teeth because the mouse is oh, looking scared. And the bee saw a cat. Oh, those little dots? Because bees have something called compound eyes and they see things, they see the world different than we do. They see it with much more pieces, more in pieces than we do because of their compound eyes. Yes, they all saw a cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears and paws. And the bird saw a cat. Well, from way up there, that cat's going to look very small, isn't it? And the flea saw a cat. Well, a flea is just a teeny weeny bug. Of course, it's going to be very small. It's going to think the cat is so huge. And the snake saw a cat. Ooh. Wow, the cat almost looks like it's glowing. Like you could just feel it, that it's a warm blooded animal, that it's warm compared to a snake. Snakes are cold blooded animals, so they're cooler. And the skunk saw a cat. Oh, I think that that skunk is wondering if it's another skunk, because look, it has stripes. I think it knows it's probably a cat, though. And the worm saw a cat. Oh, what do you think? The worm kind of like feels the movement of the cat? Probably. And the bat saw a cat. Well, a bat, they can, they, some people say they can see in the dark, but what they're really doing is they're, they're feeling their sound waves. And so that's what's going on. That's like sound waves. I like that cat though, made out of those white dots. Yes, they all saw the cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. Oh, look, the cat's made out of all the cats. Oh, now see this one. I think this is the one I would wanna paint, don't you? Or color or draw, because you could draw all sorts of different things. That would be so much fun and you could still get the giant eyes and the giant smile. I love that one. A child and a dog and a fox and a fish and a mouse and a bee and a bird and a flea and a snake and a skunk and a worm and a bat. The cat knew them all and they all knew the cat. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears and paws. Then, it came to water. Oh, what do you think is going to happen? The cat
cat's gonna walk up to water. Hmm. And imagine what it saw. What did the cat see? The cat. They all saw a cat, even the cat. Even the cat, I like that wavy, wavy when you look in water and you can see your reflection outside. A little wavy. The end. Well, I have to tell you, I think this is a wonderful book to show you in the art room because there are so many inspiring pictures of cats and different ways. And even if you don't know how to draw like a cat or you don't think you do, it shows you that there are many ways to look at the world. So if I draw a cat, it would look different than your cat. And if your mom drew a cat, it would look different than my cat because we all explore art and the way that we look at the world differently. And honestly, your picture might just be giant circles that remind you of a cat. And then, hmm, well, what shape is a cat's ears? Do we know? Do we know? Do we have a nice picture of that cat's ears that we can see? Let's see if I can find a really nice one really quickly. So you can see that a cat has triangles for ears. So a circle for a head and some triangle ears and circles for eyes. And this cat has a heart nose, which I think is really cute, a little heart. Hearts are kind of hard to draw. I have a trick that I can show you when you start school on how to draw a heart nose, if you would like. And then, and then a nice body, an oval body and maybe some oval legs. I bet you could come up with a good cat, even on your first try, even if it just reminds you of a cat. But we can definitely explore that at school. And we'll, we'll definitely be reading this book at school. So I'm gonna put it back up here in the art room. So when you start, when you have your first experience in art and you come here, it's gonna be right there. It's not gonna move. All these next few weeks, it'll always be there so you can enjoy it when you come to school. Well, it was good to talk to you again and we'll be from somewhere else the next time you see me. Okay, bye.